I know it's not a pleasant subject, but we need to do this every day. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about pooping. I'm talking about bowel movements. Fortunately, I will not be showing any pictures or drawings, so I'm going to spare you that. We're just going to talk today. But this is so connected with health and with diet. Before I changed my diet, I was only going to the bathroom once every two or three days. And you know what that means? That means that all of that waste was sitting inside my body. I don't know what it was doing there, but it wasn't helping me. Because we need to, our body needs a cleanse and we need to get rid of the waste. And in order to do that, we need to be pooping, I would say two or three times a day, at least once a day. Certainly we can't have days off. After I changed my diet, I wanna say about two to three months later, I started going to the bathroom twice a day regularly, even sometimes three times a day. And I felt so much lighter. I felt so much better. When that stuff sits in our body, they call that constipation. Now I had thought erroneously that constipation is when you sit on the toilet and you feel like you need to go, but you can't. That's one way, but also if it's just sitting in your body and you're not going to, you know, once, twice, even three times a day, then it's sitting in your body and they call that constipation too because it's just sitting in your large intestine. And it's really all about the food. Now, before I changed my diet, I was eating meat, I was eating dairy, white flour, soda pop, sugar, what else? I wrote down some things, fried food, and then I had a lack of enough complex carbohydrates. After I changed my diet, my diet was primarily fruits, all kinds of fruits. So berries and bananas and apples and pears and oranges. I even finished a papaya today. Um, just all kinds of fruit. And then vegetables, both raw vegetables and cooked vegetables. Then some raw nuts and seeds, a lot more beans, not loads, but maybe a few servings a week and also some other more um, complex grains such as oatmeal and quinoa. All of these foods I've just mentioned have a lot of fiber. Yes, they are carbs, but that's what I eat. I eat lots and lots of all of that, and it helps to keep the inside of me clean. It's also helped contribute to having a younger looking face. I'm 60 now and I changed my diet when I was 38, so it's never too late to change this. And of course, I have low blood pressure, low cholesterol. I'm not at risk for diabetes, type 2 diabetes. And so I'm getting both an inward and an outward benefit. Here's another issue with pooping. If it's an effort or painful to go to the bathroom, to pass a stool, that's not a good thing. Diet has a lot to do with that and having this right kind of fiber. And I'm not talking about putting Metamucil in a glass and drinking it down. I'm talking about this variety of foods that helps to clean you out. Now, it might also help to get a squatty potty and put one of those into your bathroom while you're in this mode of you know, having an effort to go to the bathroom or having it be painful and just wanting things to be easier. And that's a really good thing to put in your bathroom and just have handy. Now, poop shape. This is the weirdest thing. I had no idea about this until I was studying this back when I was 38 years old. Poop shape matters. And what you want to aim for is a poop that's one piece. And you don't want it to be too hard. You want it to be soft enough so that when the toilet's flushed, it easily breaks up and flushes through the toilet and doesn't get stuck. So thinner is better than thicker. And also you just, you don't want a bunch of little pieces. So when my system gets off, that can happen to me. I know that might be too much information, but that's what happens to a lot of us with our poops. So when that happens, I know something's off. Maybe I'm 
fighting something or maybe I've got a gut thing going on. Um, maybe I just need to clean up the diet and narrow it down to really, really cleanse. Maybe I'll have more juices and vegetable juices just to clean up and give my body a rest to get it back in place. There could also be some gut issues going on, so this is a good time to take a probiotic supplement. I'll have a few probiotics listed in the description box below the video. Now, how can you turn your life around and your health around by changing your diet and doing it successfully so that you stick with it? Well, I put together a course called Kickstart Your Health, which is how I did it. And the thing is, I walk you through step by step so that you can change one habit at a time and it won't be so overwhelming. It won't be something that you get discouraged by. It'll be something that you get encouraged by because you're able to do it successfully. I have a link below the video also to the Kickstart Your Health program. I think it's something that you would really enjoy and you can do it at your own pace. You can do it as fast as it's written. It's written to do in about four weeks. But if you want to take longer to do it, you can do that. I'll have a note on the right side of the screen to remind you to check below the video. Open up, whether you're on your phone or a tablet or a computer, open up that um, it'll be a little arrow on your phone or in a computer. It'll say show more. Click that. Open it up and you'll get the links. And thanks for watching and I really wish you good health.